police arrest and hand over suspended deputy commissioner of police abakiari more trouble for the suspended deputy commissioner of police abakiari nigeria's anti-drug agency says it's arrested abakiari feared by men of the underworld admired by his peers and superiors for his bravery and honored by his nation for his service DCP Abakiari was perceived as one of Nigeria's finest cops until his fall from grace to grass. Before his recent travels, the mention of the name Abakiari was enough to drive fear and panic into the hearts of high profile armed gangs and kidnappers all across the country. From leading the once dreaded but now disbanded special anti-robbery squad SARS in Lagos, where he was able to lead his team to tackle high-profile criminal gangs, he was promoted to the position of Commander, Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team IRT, where he did great exploits. As the commander of IRT, Kiari was involved in the arrest of one of Boko Haram's commanders, Umar Abdul Malik. But the man, once called Nigeria's super cop, would become more prominent after he led his team to the arrest of infamous kidnapper Chukudi Dumeme Evans Unwa Madike on June 10, 2017. He also led his team to the arrest of Michael Adioku, the prime suspect in the bloody offer bank robbery in 2018. All of these high profile arrests didn't go unnoticed as he got commendations and awards from all over the country. But how did a man, once dubbed a super cop, fall from the height of glory to the abbeys of shame? Born on March 17, 1975, Abba Kiari was admitted into the police academy in the year 2000 and from there there was no looking back for the Bonu state indigen. As far back as 2014, Mr. Kiari and his team members were accused of extorting 41 million naira from a Lagos based businessman, Afiz Mujid. The SARS officers allegedly wired money from Mujid's corporate account into the account of one Obina Edward. The squad was also accused of taking away vehicles and other valuables during the raid. In 2019, Premium Times, an online news medium, also exposed how Mr. Kiari and his fellow IRT members killed a former police corporal, Collins Imoni Ezenwa, after accusing him of being a suspected kidnapper. They then went ahead to take over properties belonging to the slain suspect and afterwards started receiving millions in rent from those properties. The allegation was never investigated by the police hierarchy. Human rights lawyer Mr. Femi Falano San once reported that he was receiving several complaints from Nigerians far and wide about Mr. Kiari's brutal and corrupt tendencies. But he was rebuffed by the police leadership even after the Nigerian Human Rights Commission, NHRC, and Amnesty International petitioned the ex IGP Ibrahim Idris. After years of getting away with alleged shady operations, Kiari's descent from the top started on July 29, 2021, when the FBI implicated him as a party to an international fraud scheme involving social media sensation and fraudster Ramon Abbas, popularly known as Hush Poppy. Hush Poppy is currently facing charges of money laundering in the United States. DCP Abakiari was identified in the detailed investigation as a party in an international scheme to defraud Qatari's co founder and then launder over $1.1 million in the illicit proceeds. The United States Department of Justice issued a warrant of arrest and ordered his extradition. Kiari, however, disputed the allegations leveled against him via his verified Instagram and Facebook accounts and the IG of police thereafter suspended him pending the report of the committee in charge of the investigation. It was while the nation was waiting for the conclusion of the investigation into the matter that the boisterous police officer 
got himself involved in another illicit deal with some international drug traffickers. On 14 February 2022, the Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, released a video clip of Kiari, where he was exposed negotiating the release of 25 kilograms of cocaine for a sum of $61,400. Hours after being declared wanted, Kiari and some officers have now been taken into custody. Will this latest development finally put the nail on the glory, honor, and career of the cop once loved and celebrated by the nation? Only time can tell.